Hi everyone! Welcome to episode 3 of Vitamin Series. As we mentioned in our last video, this episode will be dedicated to our lovely dear vitamin A. Vitamin A, or commonly known in the skincare world as retinol, retin-A, retinoid, or best friend for our skin. It's one of the most effective skin transforming ingredients found in anti-aging cosmetic products such as face creams, serums, or eye creams. It can minimize the appearance of wrinkles, improve an even skin tone, shrink the look of enlarged pores, or reignite the feeling of firmness. <laughs> but despite those piles and piles of research on its benefits, many people are not sure how exactly to use vitamin A in a skincare product. So to make your life a bit easier, we prepared this video on what you should not be doing when using vitamin A products. So make sure to watch this video until the end to find out what are the big no's. There will be two main parts in this video. First, the application process of vitamin A. And second, what are the friends and enemies of vitamin A or which ingredients to avoid when using retinol. Let's go! I've never used retinol product before. So I bought this product with Retin-A and planning to use it every day to get all this goodness on my skin. Start off slowly. It really depends on the reaction of your skin. If you have never used vitamin A before, be cautious when introducing it to your precious skin. I would recommend using less aggressive retinol for the first 3 to 12 months to prepare your skin before moving on to Retin-A. Also, wait for your skin to settle, which can take up to several weeks before attempting to use it every night. I would start using it every 2 or even 3 days. I have hypersensitive skin. Can I still use retinol? Better to start with pro-retinols, such as retinol acylate, retinol palmitate, or retinol linolate, which are the weakest forms of vitamin. They can be used for someone who has hypersensitive skin and cannot tolerate retinols. Start by using every 2-3 to three nights to see how your skin reacts and then gradually build up for every night. Can I apply this product to my entire face? Be careful around the lips, sides of the nose, or around eyes. These areas are the most sensitive and more likely to get dry and sore. If these areas do become sore, you can use something like Vaseline or post-procedure product for 2-3 to three days. I have never used retinol before and I'm planning to start with this product that has 0.5% of retinol in it. It is best to start with 0.3% for 3 to 6 months, then gradually move on to 0.5% formulation. Retinol itself can be very powerful alone, and it's a single ingredient that really does it all. But if you combine it with other active ingredients in a single routine, it can be a little bit more irritating. Now, let's see which ingredients are great to use with vitamin A and which are not very safe to combine. Let's start with our favorite AHAs and BHAs. I use this AHA toner and follow up with this retinol cream in my skincare routine. Retinol doesn't exfoliate the skin as much as AHA does. Although these great ingredients have their place in just about everyone's skincare routine, it's best not to use them together at the same time. They can counteract each other when used together, weakening their effectiveness and even cause irritation. But what if I combine retinol with BHA? BHA dissolves oil on the skin and retinol can be a little bit dry. These two dry ingredients together can over dry your skin. So you should avoid using them together. Vitamin A and vitamin C are so popular these days. Can I combine both? This combo is very popular, but it could be too much because vitamin C itself is a pretty irritating ingredient thanks to its low pH. So the best practice is to use vitamin C in the morning and retinol in the nighttime. Retinol and nursing ingredients work so well together because retinol can cause dryness and can be irritating. If you still want to use both, try to find one product that has both ingredients in it since they are usually formulated specifically to be used together. But are there any ingredients out there which can work together with vitamin A? Retinol is very weak on UV light, so when it exposes the sun, its molecule structure can change. 
reducing effectiveness and even cause irritation. When applied with sunscreen, it helps to protect the ingredients from the damage of the UV light. Another great ingredient that works perfect with vitamin A is niacinamide. We can think of retinol and niacinamide as best friends. Niacinamide can help reduce the irritation caused by retinol use and even enhance its effectiveness. Lastly, humectants. As I've mentioned, vitamin A can be drying for the skin. So it's good to use with humectants such as ceramide and hyaluronic acid. That is all for this week. Thank you guys for joining us today. Stay tuned for much more fun stuff to come. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications. See you next time. Bye! Specifically, to be used together. To be used together, used together. <laughs> so I bought this product with Retin-A and I'm planning to use every day, all day, every day, all day.